Hi, I'm Vinay Prasad. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemical and Materials Engineering at the University in Alberta and some of my research focuses on the use of carbon capture and storage. Uh, so the question is whether carbon capture and storage can halt climate change the, and the answer is not by itself. So why is that so? Uh, w if we talk about a net zero energy future, uh, what we need to do is one, to remove some of the excess uh, CO2 that we produce. Uh, but the, the other is to move our energy sources to something that does not produce carbon dioxide. Carbon capture and storage is designed to remove, uh, typically is designed to, to remove CO2 from point sources. So essentially, you know, cement kilns, steel making, where you have big furnaces that, uh, that, that need to burn fuel, power plants and the like. But there's already a fairly high level of CO2 in the air. So one of the things people are doing uh, is th looking at things like direct air capture, which is to capture CO2 directly from the air, not from a point source. Right? This is a much harder task because from that point source, the carbon dioxide is fairly concentrated. So there's a lot of it, so it's easier to pull out. CO2 in the air is a very tiny fraction, uh, uh, so it's harder to do, but that's the other thing. And all of these are what we call negative emissions technologies. So they're trying to remove emissions from the atmosphere one way or the other. But you also need to move your production uh, of energy into ways that don't produce more CO2. Otherwise, we'll, we'll forever be playing catch up in trying to clean what we are putting into the atmosphere.